Welcome to the NASPGAN Nutrition Pearl on Fiber for Short Bowel Syndrome. Soluble and insoluble fibers have different actions in the body with positive, negative, and uncertain implications for short bowel syndrome. Taken together, is fiber good or bad for these patients? First, it is important to consider the patient's anatomy. For those with ostomies, both insoluble and soluble fibers are not indicated. Studies have yet to demonstrate improved fluid absorption. For patients with a colon incontinuity, the story is different. Fermentable fibers are indicated. The short chain fatty acids that result from fermentation are used by colonocytes for fuel to a significant extent. This means that patients with a colon may salvage additional calories from the fermentation process. Short chain fatty acids also facilitate several other functions that may be beneficial to patients with short bowel. This chart lists prevailing fiber types foods that are good sources, supplement brand names, and whether the fiber ferments to short chain fatty acids and or has stool thickening properties. Not all fermentable fibers also have thickening properties. It may be reasonable to select fibers that both ferment and thicken, highlighted here. Even though stool thickening does not necessarily mean that a patient will absorb more fluid, thicker stools may help quality of life of children and families managing stool output. How have fiber supplements been used or studied in pediatric short bowel syndrome? Common practices are listed here. It is important to note that these are practices based on either clinical experience or small studies. Here are the key take home points or pearls on this topic. There is much more to learn. Thank you for your participation in this NASPGAN Nutrition Pearl, Fiber and Short Bowel Syndrome.